Once we are born again, we have a new hope, a new identity, and a new family. And for people who have this hope, suffering and persecution is so actually when we a suffer, strange gift. Because it burns and when away we are persecuted, all hopes and distractions like a purifying fire. It can be looked at as a paradoxically, life's hardship gift, which is purifying faith. us. As we are reading from First Peter, just like this purifying press, we are persecuted. We are reading that even though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not see him, now you believe in him. You are filled with a glorious joy that can't be put into words. You are receiving the salvation of your souls. And in this sense, I am your brother, Stefan Heger, Islamabad, Pakistan, and I'm reading with you today from chapter 1 of First Peter. We're reading on the prophets searched very hard and with great care to find out about that salvation. See? They spoke about the grace that was going to come to you. They wanted to find when that salvation would come. The Spirit of Christ in them was telling them about the sufferings of Christ that were going to come. He was also telling them about the glory that would follow. So all this was prophesied that we are one family, one suffering family, the body of Christ. Look at this. And that's how when we drink this uh, beautiful green tea with lemon and honey this morning, It's a bit bitter. It's good for the body. That's how it's up with the suffering it is. Look, it's prophesied in the Old Testament about the prophets. Look, here we read. And the mentioning of scriptures of Isaiah and other places. It's revealed that the Son of Man and Messiah, see, not only he is suffering, but we will be suffering. Let's read on verse 12. It was made known to the prophets that they were not serving themselves, Instead, they were serving you. When they spoke about the things that you are now heard. Those who have preached the God, good news to you have told you of those things. See, the preachers of the Injil, the gospel. They have done it with the help of the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels would love to look into these things. 